What's going on guys? Welcome to another Magic the Gathering Internet Sensation Draft. Are there enough dragons to make this spit flame? We're actually doing an M19 draft today and uh, the stipulation is draft the good cards and uh, win the draft. That's a joke. There is no stipulation but we're still going to be doing that thing that I just said. Hmm. Hmm. Spit flame seems pretty good. I mean, four damage for three mana at instant speed is really good by itself. But then, like, being able to bring it back, that's pretty cool. Create two soldier tokens on turn. Creature to control. Get plus one, plus one. Oh, so that's... Hmm. Hmm. I don't hate that. Target creature against haste until end of turn. Don't care about you. Might just be heroic reinforcements. That seems pretty good. We can also get blood divination. Sacrifice a dragon egg. Hmm. I'm gonna take the blood divination. I think. Chris Zuskiman, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. 29 months in a row. That is a good amount of time. All we have to do is draft Karn and we're golden. You are correct. That is all we have to do. Reinforcements did seem pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to disagree there. 3 2 Menace for 3 is good. This guy is very good. So it's either, I think it's either Brute or Bloodletter. I don't see any dragons here, though. I think it's actually Brute here. I like Brute because there are other goblin synergies. So, I don't think there are any vampire synergies. Maybe there are. Alpine Moon. Oh, here her reinforcements number 2. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just taking the second heroic reinforcements that we see. So now we can be either white or black, which is pretty good. I wonder if Millstone is viable here. 4-2 Menace, gentlemen. Okay. Four two regular gentleman, four two menace, or just child of night. Hmm. Could also be angel of dawn if we're actually playing white instead. Yeah, stag also seems very good. Yeah, I'm gonna take this angel because we already got the heroic reinforcements, and the, the other heroic re reinforcements might table if no one is in red white. So. That seems pretty good. Mm -mm. Three, two for three with no abilities whatsoever. Okay. Two, three for three. When there's about to return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand, I don't see that being relevant. When a crypt creature does combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. That's actually pretty good with a flyer, with a, with a float, buddy. Pretty sure it's actually just the rogue's gloves here. How many millstones could we have gotten so far? Eh, 
Eh, another brute's fine. Probably better than the one two for one two flyer for one man. Power creep is real, guys. Invoke seems good. Manolith also seems okay. It lets us ramp to five or the class to cast the blood divination. I think I like having an invoke. Um, Mighty Leap, I guess. Sure. Card's weird. I was hoping we'd get this other millstone, actually. That's interesting. I think Valken is less bad when we have cards like Reinforcements Angel. So. Although no dragons is pretty sad. Alright, I guess that's it. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Alright. And we open a dragon. A pretty good one as well. Called Shot Dragon Edition. Inferno Hellion. Trample. 7 3 trample for 4. At the beginning of each end step, if it attacked or blocked, its owner shuffles it. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I think it's just Stag here. Stag seems pretty good. Triad Green Seeker also pretty good, but we're just going to take the, the Stag here. At the beginning of combat on your turn, an artifact creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains indestructible. That's actually fine for a 3-3, three, three, but... I think it's just Heroic Reinforcements number two. I mean, I'd rather have Reinforcements than Instigator. Because our odds of getting more... Uh, heroic more instigators is pretty high also angel and luminous bonds and this land which is very good for us I almost like the second angel I want to take the removal spell though we don't have that much removal This pack's pretty bad, but I kind of like Active Trees in here. I think Active Trees can just win you games out of nowhere. I'm going to take the Active Trees in. Hmm. Interesting. Skeletal Archer is good. It's a lot of four drops, but this is a charge deck, I imagine. I think I just want more two drops. I think this is a better two drop than this is a one drop, so I'm just going to take the two drop here. Gain three life and draw a card. That's actually not terrible for two mana. Probably better than a second invoke.
Man, this, these packs are getting pretty weak toward the end here. I mean, it might just be a straight-up three-color deck. Maybe. Wow, the Archer came back? I also don't hate Knight of the Tusk. 3-7 with Vigilance is pretty big. I want to take this guy because it's actually on color for us. And another two-headed zombie. Nah, this is actually playable. 5-4, whatever. Metamorphic Alteration. Two mana... Enter the battlefield, choose a creature, and choose a creature as a copy of the chosen. Sure, that's pretty unimpressive. 3 3 haste for 4. Cool. This pack is actually terrible for us. 3 2 for 3. Tormenting voice. 3 2 with flash for 3. Probably just can take Rise from the Grave. I don't know. Oh, Hyromancer's Cage is pretty good. So is Pegasus Courser, but I'd rather have the removal. Especially because it deals with Planeswalkers as well. Yeah, we can potentially see another... Wow. Wow. And you cast a creature spell with power 4, 5, or 6. Sarkhan's on the ceiling deals 4 damage to any target. Four, five, or six. So we literally have two creatures that trigger that. Okay, that's not very good. Two, one. Yeah, let's just go with the Courser here. Yeah, Unsealing definitely doesn't seem like a bomb when we have two, two creatures that actually trigger it. Yeah, but you also have to draw the Hellion, so, I mean, yeah, I get, I get it. I get, the, I get the interaction. Yeah, I'm not going to play four two zombies for four just because we have a random rare. You gain one life. Target creature gets an extra the amount of life you gain this turn. Oh, that's not very good at all. Two damage to target player or planeswalker. Two one for two. It's actually pretty good. Smelt. Take Vengeance. Yeah, it's probably just Golem, actually. I thought this was non-creature permanent at first. Being non-land is pretty insane, because it can just kill any creature. It's basically just a colorless Shriek Maw. Three three menace. When it attacks, you may sacrifice another creature. Oh, that's not great. Oh, look, another Sarkons on the ceiling. Oh, well, that's pretty insane. I'm gonna go with the more reasonable card. Four three trample for four is not bad. It's much better than a three three haster, but wow, this is literally just plus two plus two. Good lord. Well, don't forget both of these are creatures as well. You cast your in a source for you copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Yeah, I don't feel like that's very good.
I would love one black red or black white land here. I'm just going to take this guy. Play it if I have to. Gain trample, draw a card. It's actually not terrible. Invoke number two. Ended up getting it anyway. Smelt? Sure. When two invokes aren't enough. Lava Axe? Okay. Alright, probably just taking out the Loxodon Line Breaker. Yeah, I like 872. That seems fine. Actually, I might want double red because we want an extra red for the Spit Flame, and we also want uh, double red for both of these guys. The only double white card is this one, so. Whoops, that's not what we want to do. Add you. All right, let's see what happens. Two millstones on the sideboard. That could be aggressive. Yeah, if we had a Bone Dragon, we probably could do that. I will play first. This hand is pretty bad. This hand is not great, but I'll keep it. All the colors. I think Bone Dragon at Rare for Limited probably feels worse than Bone Dragon at Mythic. child of the night this is the child of the night Whoa. oh yeah no blocks Oh, wow. What is this? This is a 2-2 for 4 with Vigilance that just makes another 2-2? So it's literally just call the cavalry. Okay. So we can do this. We make this a 4-4. Four, four. We can tap one of your dudes. Hmm. Feels bad, man. I wonder if it's worth trading Stag for Cavalry and Child of Night. Yep, that seems pretty good.
Uh, if I came over for dinner, you would have to. You wouldn't have to cook me a vegetarian meal per se, but I probably would not eat the steak, as you might know from making that comment. Oh, shot me in the face. So what does this do? One, two, three, four. We can actually play this, play this, keep this up. Now we're just trading our one ones for like Oh, if it isn't your boy, admirable. Well, I've been practicing. <laughs> You got it. I don't think we can actually kill this, right? They have one too many, right? We go attack, they go sack one, put a counter on it, make it a two, three. Sack one, make it a three, four. Sack one, make it a four, five. We go to kill in response, they sack another one, make it a four, five. It ends up being a five, six, but I guess they both trade. My concern is that thing just gets out of hand at some point. I mean, if we Spitfire, they surely just sacrifice three guys. They go sack, sack, and then sack the zombie, and they still end up with two zombies and a 4-5 flyer, so... Give me that dragon. Okay, land is also good. So I took a block 3-3 three, three, and 2-2. Two, two. We just trade here and they still get a, a guy out of it. But if they do that, right? They sack both. They block both of, the, both of these. While these triggers on the stack, we can easily kill this. That actually seems pretty good. Let's see if that works.
Okay. This card's very good. So one, two, yeah, now we're gonna spit fire you. All right, you get two zombies, but I think we're still ahead right now. Like you're at nine and we have a 3-3 flyer, so that's pretty good in core set limited, I think. 10 lands to six spells, not as good. Just gonna keep playing lands because there's gonna come a turn where we have to uh dark ambition to draw three and i just want to make sure we have as many lands as we can when that happens also they could play like mind rot or something going to three Bought a turn and get a free Zombo. How does this deck feel compared to Vintage? Not as good. game maybe no wow so the literal turn we could have win not only do they get a card that uh, saves them it also stalemates the game Interesting. This seems like a bad attack. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So one damage gets through. Then they block here, here. They could go three, three, two, 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 two. Which means we eat a two, two, and then they just get to eat our three, seven, which is pretty bad. The old 11 lands, one, two, three, four, f nine spells, eight spells. A classic. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Like you do. I'm having a good time. Remember that time we were literally one turn away from winning and they had top decked the perfect card followed by the other perfect card? Me too. 13 lands. Four lands left in our deck. <sighs> I 
Oh, that's great when you're drawing all lands. Seems good. Really? Well, that's a thing, I guess. Too bad it doesn't have haste, because that would be clearly broken. You don't want to give a five mana dragon haste. Not in Magic the Gathering. That never, never, never happens. Meanwhile, our opponent has to draw two cards a turn, and uh, all your guys make two twos. Seems good. We've had. I think they've made five extra two twos this game. At least, at the very least, they sacrificed one recently, so that's three. I'm just going to do this now because it's got to be done. That's actually pretty funny. Why is this dragon so demanding? This is a sorcery? Alright, well at least that's not going to be the answer they use. This is actually comical because now they have to get rid of both of these guys in order to win. They could just have nothing, but that doesn't really, really... They didn't have anything. That's weird. We're just winning this game with this stupid Rustwing Falcon? I mean, I might have, I might bring in double invoke just because of both of these cards. Oh, could have one one black bat creature token with flying if you gained life. All right, well, no gain, no gaining life yet. This is where they go liches caress this guy, gain three, make a bat. <laughs> that double blo blocker is good to four. Ready? What did they target? Targeting a soldier token? Sure. You make a bat. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Three lands left in our deck out of 16. Don't have trample either, huh? Okay. Okie dokie. Well, they have 16 of their lands in place. So they have one land and their 11 cards, so. Yeah. 
interesting. If I just get to eat this guy, I'm going to be quite impressed. I mean, they get another zombie, of course, because, like you do. Don't have negative three. Ne if you had negative three, negative three, you actually would have saved your own guy, so. I don't foresee that being the case. All right. Dead on board again. <laughs> God. This game has been ridiculous, and they've drawn, like, mm, seven more cards than we have, and made about seven more free, free zombies than we have, which is because we've made none. Wow. Amazing. All right, so. Take out the axe, take out the trample card. Just bring in double invoke here. Oh, there's plenty of time left on the clock. That was not a long match. It was just a grindy match. Yeah, we got the double millstone. That could be the tech, but I have my doubts. Yeah, if you get rid of... Yeah, if we got rid of the, uh, the open the vaults, is that what it's called? Open the grave, whatever it is. And if we got rid of the uh, the tome, then we probably just win the game. We just boarded out the axe. I didn't care about the axe. The axe is kind of just plus two plus I was kind of mediocre. Like all our guys are bigger than his anyway. They just have zombies and, and, and stupid nerds. All right, mulliganing again. Because five drop, six drop, seven drop, two lands of the same color. Sure. Actually, they have 14 minutes, so it's not a tremendous amount of time. You got it. Wow. Starting early, I see. Yep, my fingers were crossed that that was going to be a uh, one of the two invokes that we brought in, but no, was it not? I mean, you just draw cards until I put any pressure. I have, I have no pressure on you right now, so you can just draw cards until you don't really need to anymore. Which is never. You never don't need to.
I kind of like that because it's basically the same as yours. This might be better value though, especially because we can just deal you five here. I assume you're going to destroy this, gain three, attack for two. It's a good life swing. Well, they have some decisions to make, apparently. Angel. Interesting. All right. Now we got some card action going on here. Now who has the Urza's Tome? I guess Arcane Encyclopedia is what it is. Urza's Tome was the one from Dominaria. Which was actually worse, I think. Return an artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Sure. Joke's on you. You don't even have any. <laughs> Do you go to four here? That's brutal. Oh, dang. That is a thing. Well, you gotta have an answer for these five fours. Does that dragon wear the gloves over his wings? Yeah, probably. You just put them on the little hands, right? Yep. Saw that coming. It's one, two. One, two. Yeah, this should be good. Uh, so we're gonna go one, two. Glove you up because you probably have to block fire elemental here, or you, or you die. But I don't know what to do with those tall salads and scrambled eggs. You go to you block here and go to two? Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. I'll just take the free card. Oh, that's pretty interesting. This should remove some of your answers, so we'll just play this guy and call it a day. Oh, and we got him. All right. Well, our deck seems pretty okay when we don't draw a million lands.
Oh man, Palaka Worm being rare in this set is pretty miserable, right? That is not the preferred preferred rare to open. I mean, it's very good and limited, right? Seven mana, draw a card, gain seven, what have you, but... Oh, this hand is gas. Look at this curve. It's gorgeous. This Rustwing Valkan is going to deal so much damage. Come at me, bro. Reasonable turn four, if we hit a land, if we hit another land. I mean, this goes great on on the flyer, on the lifeling guy, and on the menace guy. So that's pretty cool. And we did not hit a land like you do. They're at twelve though. We have five power on board. Two of it is pretty. Two two of the the bodies are pretty evasive. Come at me, bro. Oh, that's pretty good. Put you to six. Music mainly. Have a good afternoon, buddy. It's just lethal, right? Doesn't matter. They're going to sack this guy, so that's unfortunate. Uh, if they double block here, then they're taking... That's oh, not lethal, I guess. I guess there's no point really attacking with that either. We just trade. So we'll just tag it at this guy, I guess. I see. And that was an aggressive start. All right. I'm going to bring in one more evoke. In invoke, I guess. Take out the crash through. They said perfect ramp, but I think you mean curve. We didn't ramp into anything, buddy. Oh, that's good. If we can hit three drop land, land, I'm okay with it. Oh, seven drop. That's uh, not exactly what we're looking for. Three drop into land is still where we want to be. I accept the land.
Demanding Dragon pretty bad against the uh, two one ones, but whatever. It's still five five flyer. MX Stoneheart, glad to see it, buddy. Glad the uh glad you could watch the stream. This is where you float. Sure. I'll trade a mighty leap for a sure strike and a goblin guy. It's not ideal because we want to play dragon this turn, but I'm not gonna let my 3 3 die to this. And Valken comically blocks this goblin pretty well, so. So this guy dies. Tap down your floater. You can just tap down this guy and trade here. I'm not sure I like either of those, so we're just going to pass here. And if we hit a land, we can play this. If we hit any other card, we just play it, so... Oh, that invokes looking real good right now. Do they have Mighty Leap, though? That's the question. I guess they just trade if they do, right? Yeah, that's fine. And they don't get to draw a card. Okay. Do you have my leap? Oh my. Huh. That's actually perfect. Pretty sure our board and hand is like we just play this guy, kill whatever big thing you play, attack you for five. Yeah, that thing's dead. Sure. That seems good. And we still have Brute in hand for next turn. It seems fine. If you want to trade, we're going to have to trade our stags. They are in top deck mode, so any land they hit is pretty bad. Of course, they're drawing very, very well for themselves. Angel into Stag into... Alright, that's pretty good as well. 
put you on here just make you a 3-2 flyer we can put you on here and actually give you pretty profitable blocks they can just go trade yeah that's a good two for one otherwise they just take six Yep, I will trade the Brute for the Gallant Cavalry. Pretty straight up, actually. And now we just get a 3-2 Flyer. Seems good. Uh, no blocks. To be fair, we're also kind of in top deck mode. Oh, wow, that was a really good draw. Pretty sure we're way ahead here. And that's the end. All right. Wow. Our deck seems very, very good. I did not think it was great, but... You know, match results dictate, so... Hi, Nicholas. What's going on, buddy? Hat Mike in the chat. Oh, this hand is not great, but I'll keep it. Because, whatever, maybe Dragon gets there. Maybe we ask some questions. Also good. Hmm. Three drop, six drop. That's close. Basically the same thing. I almost don't want to play this until I have more guys on board. So ideally we draw a four drop or less. I'll take a three drop. I accept that. Next turn we can play dragon. They have to take five. Unless they cancel this or essence scatter it. Sure, that's un unimpressive considering the cards in our hand. We miss you, Hat Mike. Is the H in hat capitalized? Probably, because that's kind of like his name, right? Well, this is ironic now because it's almost like we're doing him a favor. Well, that could be good eventually.
All right. Well, that was a good eight damage, I guess. And we put some bodies on the board in case we had a black mana. We can blood divination, draw three off of one of these soldier tokens, which is nice. Create a one one. Sure, you got it. <laughs> it's all coming up, Millhouse. Might just want Knight of the Tusk here because we can resolve it. Get back Essence Scatter. All right, well, the damage is already done, so. I'm actually just going to get rid of this dragon egg, which feels weird, but I don't care. It just gives them a lot of ways to play things. Like, that's... Uh, i just rather not deal with it. I, now I can tap down the... Okay, we just win the game. Yeah, that's pretty good. We didn't see s too many invoke targets. Yeah, I don't know. Just submit like this, I guess. I don't like crash through, though. We haven't drawn it, but I also don't think it's going to be great. What if I just bring in one millstone for the lulls? They're going to have about eight cards out of their deck when we millstone, so we have 32 cards left. Three cards a turn, you win with like 10 turns, but you do have to pay two mana every single time. Yeah, Omaklo is Mike B. So you got a Mike B and a and a and a hat mic in the chat right now. I almost like Active Treason with Blood Divination, steal one of their guys, like the Dragon's Egg, and then sacrifice it. Do you think white is strongest in draft with the Snag of Tap Scrooge and the Angel of Pro? Uh, maybe, just because I've done one draft. Two, this is my second draft. However, it is looking like our second 3 0 as well, so that's pretty good. Surge Mayor, huh? Okay, well. It's a thing, I guess. It's a good turn, too, for you. What's happening right now? You mean seahorse? Why would you call a seahorse a water horse? That doesn't even make any sense. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'll block. If you want to go. 
plus two, plus O, oh, and also neg one, neg one it with your... Oh, you're going to, like, shock it? Sure. <laughs> cool. Actually, I don't like Luminous Bonds until we get Demanding Dragon out of the way. So... I don't think Vivian Reed is on par with Raska, no. I think Vivian Reed is good. I just I don't think they're the same by, by any means. Give me a land. Oh, no, not a land? Okay. Welp. That was a good turn to play this guy because they'd either have to sacrifice this or take five and... Okay. Sure. Land, please. Red, please. Mountain, please. Land, red, mountain. I'm just going to trade here. Like, we're way behind, and, uh... Oh, God, that's so obnoxious. Just because we know they have a counter spell, so now we're going to play this. Oh, no, just another card we can't actually deal with. All right. Well, then. Yeah, this card's bad. We do not have the deck for it. Um... All right, well, not... not... God, I hate spending that before the dragon, but... It's still a five five. We gotta keep we just gotta tell ourselves it's still a five five. This is definitely the guy I want you to counter first, but you didn't, so that's interesting. Did you just have nothing? It's turn nine. You've missed three land drops, so you gotta have something. Ah. Interesting. So we're definitely bringing an Invoke now because we've seen two, two relevant cards for Invoke. Much better than an Act of Treason here, that's for sure. Sack that Pyromancer. All right. Let's see if you have another Dwindle. Dwindle's actually pretty good removal for a blue card. Negative six takes care of pretty much everything. Eh, well, that doesn't do anything. Are we just way ahead here, surprisingly? Well, not anymore, I guess. I mean, if they play any big creature, we can just steal it and give it Mighty Leap. What is even happening right now? Okay, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Real close. 
Got your shock back. <laughs> this little guy. All right. Don't you know you've got to shock the monkey? I feel like this is going to actually win us the game. Like, we go to six from the shock, but they don't. They have four power on board, and we have still have two blockers, even if this guy dies. <sighs> Crying out loud. I hope you play like a big 4-4, four four, but you're not going to. Oh! No, he's still fine. Oh, this is actually still fine. <laughs> oh my god, is Active Treason going to actually kill kill them? That's hilarious. I think we just won the game. Their only card left is Shock. We could also steal this guy comically and kill them with it, so... What's the more what's the more stylized play? Stealing their guy? There you go. Use all the use all the parts of the buffalo. All right, another 3-0. That was pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys have not done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons on the YouTube video you are currently watching. Check out my Patreon and my Twitch pages. They are both in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate you hanging out and supporting me.